See 7 News at 5 on your side. One of the most controversial topics in the health care reform bill was the language concerning abortion. It ended up being a deciding factor in getting that bill passed. And now one Republican congressman is under fire for shouting baby killer on the House floor. Now that congressman is apologizing and explaining what he meant. A Cooper reports from Capitol Hill. Well, Gordon, the pro-life members were reluctant to support this bill, so in order to win over members, House leaders crafted a compromise. Now, any woman receiving federally subsidized insurance who wants abortion coverage has to write out two checks, one to cover abortion coverage and the other check to cover everything else. Carrying thank you letters for members of Congress who opposed abortion restrictions, pro-choice NARAL policy director Donna Crane was busy today, trying to chart a course to get the new abortion language overturned, calling it the most restrictive in a generation. We don't think the restrictions can work. We think um, women shouldn't have to write two checks for a service that should, be, should come as part of their overall health care package. And we don't think health plans will want to process uh, 80,000 or whatever number of additional checks per month. Pro-choice advocates divided. Planned Parenthood reluctantly endorsing the health care bill, NARAL withholding support. But the pro-life community is also upset and divided. It wanted abortion coverage banned altogether. In the end, some pro-life leaders reluctantly supported the bill. Others strongly opposed it. The issue was so heated that when pro-life Democrat Bart Stupak announced he had decided to vote yes, a Republican congressman could be heard yelling, baby killer on the House floor. Today, women in the Washington area weighed in. It sounds a little unrealistic. I mean, if it's included in the health insurance, why should we have to pay separately for that? I think um, a coverage is better than no coverage. I don't really think it's a compromise. I mean, I think the um, anti-abortion people got their way, you know, and, um, you know, it's really unfortunate. I don't know why they made this about, you know, abortion. So do pro-life advocates feel that they got their way? No, they do not. But today there was that apology issued. Representative Randy Nogbauer of Texas said that he was the one who shouted out baby killer on the House floor. But he says he was, regard he was referring to the bill and not Representative Stupak. Still, he apologized for using that language on the floor of the House. Reporting live from the Capitol, Rebecca Cooper, ABC 7 News.